previously on Mighty Car Mods. Time to chop some Honda. Great launch. Not in first gear. Second gear, not. Well, that thing's fast. How did he do that? I'm actually speechless. Chop! How is that even possible? That is VTEC and not, and you can't do anything about it. You got nothing here, man. Got nothing. You got nothing. What's that? You got nothing. It's all over. I got, That's it. I got now you're chopped. I you're got chopped. I got nothing. All right. Now, Moog did say that that's all I got in my MX-5. You got nothing, it's all over. That's it. Now you're chopped. But I have a backup plan. Mighty's uh, got someone to bring Gramps down. And my backup plan is an all-wheel drive turbocharged EZ36, 3.6 litre, custom turbocharged monster in the form of a Subaru wagon. I think he knew something was up and he knew he was going to get chopped and he doesn't want to go home feeling upset. So he's brought Gramps down now. Potentially he could completely bodge it up, but I've got a feeling that I'm gonna get chopped very, very hard in the next couple of minutes. My only hope of winning this drag is if Marty makes a mistake. There's no way a 13 second S2000 is gonna go head to head in a fair fight with an 11 second wagon. I got a lot of respect for the man. He brought his Honda, he's had a really good go. Gramps needs to just show him who's boss. Just needs to go, you know what? Your Honda's cool with your convertible and your modern technology and your VTEC and your two liter and your fuel economy and your good looks for a 10 year old car and doing skids and you know, everyone, all your Honda mates thinking you're cool. But we're in a drag strip. So Gramps is gonna chop the S2000. That's all there is to say. Man, Gramps looks mean. Gramps looks mean. Any, oh wow, he's, Marty is giving me the death stare right now. Yep. He doesn't look scared at all. Hey, mate. I, I was hoping that he might actually look a bit worried, but he does not look worried at all. This has got to chop him. That's what matters right now. I've got to launch this so hard it is not funny this time. I've got to just nos it hard. I've got to beat tech hard. I've got to launch hard. I'm going to launch harder than I've ever launched before, and hopefully I won't destroy anything. All right, Gramps. Show them how it's done. To make things a bit more interesting, we've decided that once I reach the end of fourth gear, I have to take my foot off the accelerator and roll to the finish line to give the poor little Honda a fighting chance. I've got to launch it so hard. I've got to launch it so hard. He's already staged. Here we go. I've got Noss's armed. Come on. Too soon, Junior. Yes, friends. Stop that Honda. Ha, 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 ha. And he's gone. Okay, so Marty's at the end of fourth gear, so I've got to punch the NOS and hit VTEC before he crosses the line. It's going to be close. I'm the man, man. I'm the and that's a win for Grant. Okay, I'm going to fly by because I own a Honda. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who's the flyby? Job! What a car. <laughs> Alright, so there it is. A night at the drags. We had a lot of fun. Finally, the MX-5 has been chopped. I have to give the man credit. Two reasons. One, his Honda's still going. There's a broken skyline right there. Two, he's put in a lot of effort into that car. And you know what? He didn't have anyone to help him. Gramps is the epitome of bringing together mates and everybody for a common project just to make something that's really cool and really different. I had a lot of help from a lot of really good people. You know, I got chopped by Gramps, so I should. But most importantly, the MX-5 was well and truly chopped. I don't think he's gonna be hitting 13s anytime soon, so I'm gonna call that a victory for the S2000. He doesn't have mates who are into Hondas. He goes to see Mechanical Stick, not interested. Turbo Yoda, we all know what that face looks like. And then he finally finds Scotty, he goes, you know what, man, I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna sort you out with some NOS. And he strips almost a full second off his time with only a couple of runs at the drags. 
and for, for such a cheap mod, a couple of hundred bucks, like, I think he really earned that time. I think there's a lot of aggression with car racing and there's this sense that everything has to be serious and fast and crazy and it's all smack talking. It's like, ultimately it's just fun. You know, it's, it's just a fun challenge. And I think sometimes the attitudes towards cars, which is probably fueled by rubbish stories on mainstream media, is that everyone's a hoon, everyone's a fool. There's a lot of stupid stuff going on. But in fact, it's the absolute opposite of that. There are so many awesome people that are into cars. There's so many people that are passionate and enthusiastic about their cars. There's a lot of people that can't afford to get into other stuff. They buy a cheap car, you know, they get their mum or their dad or whoever knows something about working on cars and they work in their garage, they learn stuff, they become better people because of it. Like that is what this thing is all about. And so I don't care what kind of car you got. I don't care if you got a tricycle. I don't care if you got a push bike. I don't care if you're into stamp collecting. It's like, get out, do something, have a mad time. I certainly have. And I think it's time we get back and do some more mad mods. Enough of this drags for a bit. Let's just actually like spanner on some cars. It's gonna be mad.